Charlie here. Uh, this video is about being able to convert from true to magnetic. And it's a impor really important skill because oftentimes we navigate to a magnetic compass, uh, but on the chart we calculate bearings as true. And vice versa, a lot of times bearings on the charts are in true, but then we have to convert it into compass so that then we can uh, navigate using our compass, which is on our cockpit. Um, same goes for position fixing, using three-point fixes. You may use a hand bearing compass for that. And then you want to plot it on the chart. You may want to convert that to true, even though sometimes that's not necessary. Hey, I hope you enjoy the course. Um, it's a, it's a nice and quick, and uh, it's a really important skill to learn. on the chart are true bearings yeah when we say true bearings they're relative to true north okay um so that's we say it's true and then when we look at um magnetic bearings we're looking at um mag when we look at well, well sorry when we look at when there's a hand bearing compass it gives us a magnetic bearing which is relative yeah um to the magnetic north right that difference between magnetic north and true north is called variation. Yeah? Yeah. And um, so variation, I'll put a V here for variation. So variation is measured. I'll talk more about that in a minute. We have true is going to be relative to true north. We put NT here. And this is relative to uh, magnetic north, all right? Empty, okay. But to keep things really simple, what you need to know here is how do you go from this true to magnetic and magnetic to true using whatever variation is given to you, yeah? Yeah. Um, so variation is gonna be, it, it varies depending on where you are in the world, yeah? And it will vary as in the amount uh, in some places, variation is very small. Some places, variation is very big. Uh, in, it's measured in degrees as well. Um, and also, it can be east or west. Yeah. Uh, so, in Australia, the variation is always east. Uh, whereas, if you go to Europe, the variation is west. Yeah. If you go to from true to mag from true to magnetic, and you got your variation here. Um, then when you're going this direction, I'll draw an arrow, you subtract, if variation east is east, you're gonna subtract it. And then if we if go- variations west, west, we add it. it. That's it? Yeah. And then the opposite, the other way. So you here, you add east and you subtract west. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, subtract less. Okay. Look, I always tell the students is just write that down and refer to it when you when you come across this sort of thing because it can be a bit confusing. Yeah. But if you just refer back to the picture, even if you're still trying to understand this concept, you can still go through the exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So let's do a couple examples. If I have 100 degrees true, and I have a magnetic, I have 105 degrees magnetic, what's going to be my variation here? Five degrees. Five degrees, on which way? East or west? Uh, true to magnetic west. That's it. Good. That's it. West. Excellent. All right. Good stuff. Um, if I have a magnetic here, 90 degrees magnetic, and then I have 94 degrees true, uh, what's going to be my variation? 94 to 90. Yep. So four degrees. Yeah. And we're going from magnetic to true. So we are going... Um, 
east. No. Magnetic to true west. Uh, no, you had it correct the first time. East. Oh, okay. Yeah, because remember, if you're going down this direction here, you subtract yeah. east. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what a couple more. If I have uh, 180 degrees true, and I have uh, 12 degrees east, what's going to be the, my magnetic? It's going to be 168. 168. Excellent. Yeah, good start. I'll give you a bit of a curveball this time. Um, okay. <laughs> if I have a zero zero five degrees magnetic and i have a variation of 10 degrees west what's gonna be my true bearing here I don't yeah, know. this is why this is why it's a bit of a curveball this one because you got to think about a circle that has 360 degrees right and that puts me to 340 for 355. excellent that's it yeah okay that, so this is 355, that's it. The video and you have a much better idea on how to convert from true to magnetic. Again, just follow the simple rule. Another little trick that's really handy is to use words. So if the variation is east, the magnetic is least. If the variation is west, the magnetic is best. Means if, the, if it's least, it's gonna be less than, and if it's west, it's gonna be more than. So if east, you subtract, if west, you add when converting true to magnetic so it's a little bit of a plain on word to help you hope that helped and hope you enjoyed the video and uh tune in for the next one cheers thank you bye bye mm -hmm.